um, almost nine years to break, and then when you finally did break it, it was in England. Why do you think that was? Because uh, the Americans are idiots, and uh, they like that, Americans are idiots. No, the American record companies don't like anything uh, that's unusual or strange, and they don't like to take a chance on any kind of different music or a different way of looking, and they're always watching Great Britain to see what Great Britain's doing. If Great Britain signs Boy George, they sign 27 Boy Georges just like them. So we figured if they were watching Great Britain, we'd come here and get our start here, and then maybe they'd recognize us then, and as a result, it has happened in the United States. We're about a million and a half records in five months now in the States and two million records worldwide, so it's finally happening. And you know why? Why? Because of the tube. This is the place where we got our start. What was that? Yeah, let's hear it for the tube! And I'd like to comment that you look just a little bit different than the last time I saw you, darling. Hey, I've lost four stone. Yeah, four stone, and her name is Fifi. <laughs> now, what did you um, look like when you first started? The same way we look now, like, well, not like this, like we look like this, you know, same thing. When we started out, we, it was, the whole idea was that we were an aggressive sort of metal band, and we decided to shake people up a little bit with, instead of glam rock, hid rock, since we were hideous, and we wore all sorts of uh, feminine makeup and clothing to shake people up, and it did. In the old days, I used to be fighting every single night just to, you know, get out of the bar, but, um, or the pub, as you would say. And did you get beaten up a lot? Hell no. <laughs> if I, I wouldn't be here if I did, huh? Now, when you play in America, what kind of a reaction do they think that you're like something like Kiss or one of those sort of groups? Well, I mean, we're generally in that area. I mean, it's theatrical rock and roll. All these bands like Kiss and Motley Crue and Twisted Sister were all Alice Cooper clones in a way. We all were into Alice Cooper, and we got our ideas from Bowie and Cooper, and that's why we're very similar. But uh, we're really not exactly like Kiss. Uh, Kiss really went for the mask. They would never appear on a show like this, you know, with their, without their makeup on or something like that. Do you think that to be a heavy metal band, you have to have a sense of humor? I think you do. But most of the heavy metal bands don't. I mean, they don't have a sense of humor. They take themselves very seriously. And it's not a put down. I mean, I like most of these bands, but I can see where people who aren't heavy metal fans can say, oh, it's a bit pretentious, isn't it? You know? And uh, I mean, if you can't step back and see that there's humor in everything in life, humor in politics, there's humor in TV shows, and there's humor in heavy metal. And if you can't laugh at a thing like the Young Ones Bad News Tour or Spinal Tap <laughs> or something like that, if you can't see the humor in what you're doing, then I think you're really going to have a problem dealing with the world. Now, you've um, also got a song in your set that's dedicated to Stephen King, who writes yeah. the horror books. Yeah. Now, what is it you like about him? Well, the song's called, uh, it's two songs, a story called The Horrorteria, and I like horror movies. The Exorcist is probably the greatest film I ever saw. I mean, I like to be scared, I like to be shaken up. And Stephen King, it's better than a movie because he, he plays with your mind. And uh, I've just read everything he's ever done, and a lot of bands have. I mean, The Alarm uh, uh, from this country, they have a song called The Stand, which is, or an album called The Stand that's named after a Stephen King book. And it's just, I like horror, and he has a way of really scaring the out of you. Well, I'm going to scare the out of everybody because now we've got quite a lot of Twisted Sister. All right, I like the hair. <laughs> 